So I want to go on a bit of a rant here just to show you just why I hate Twitter and why I've chosen to make my account 90% business. I'm going to give you an example as to why I fucking hate this platform. And as to why, like, I don't understand if people are just getting stupider or if the internet sucks out your brain or if you were always a fucking moron and... Like, not you, not you watching, but these people, if they were always fucking morons and nobody ever said they were fucking stupid. So I post on, on Twitter right here, I'll be re-uploading the Matrix 4 full plot spoilers tonight on World of Geekdom. I don't want to wait for WB to reject my counterclaim, so it'll be up this evening, don't miss it. Just promoting a new video, right? You would think people would understand something so simple. And some of the replies to this, why would anybody want spoilers? Why would you want... To spoil the movie. I have been on the internet. On YouTube now for six years. With Geekdom 101. Dropping spoilers about Dragon Ball. I've been here on World of Geekdom. Discussing leaks and spoilers. Since I started this channel. There's many, 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 many channels on the internet. That get way more views than me that specialize in revealing leaks and spoilers and speculation. You know who they are. Tons of them. But now all of a sudden, because I decide to leak the plot of a movie, I don't know if it's if I'm attracting idiots. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Some of the replies were fine. Some of them were fucking stupid. Why? If you have a reliable source and know the actual plot of the film, why would you want to post spoilers? Because that's what I've done for the past six years. And I even told the guy right here, I said, what is wrong with you? I've been posting spoilers on both my channels since I started. Why are you asking me this now and not the other 300 times I did it? Like, what do you want me to do? Post fake ones? You want me to be like the other guys who post fake spoilers? This is all real shit. And, you know, right here we have Dead Dark actually replying to him. And I actually had to mute this guy. Why would you want to go into a film with full plot details? Because maybe some people don't care about spoilers. Some people care about spoilers, some don't. I don't reveal my spoilers on tweets. I don't reveal them in pictures on Instagram. I put them in videos. That way you have a... A, a shield that can stop you from clicking into the video. That way, if you're watching the videos on my channel in the subscription feed and you say, you know what, I don't want to be spoiled on Matrix or on Star Wars or whatever, I won't click the video. What a fucking concept. There's a spoiler out for a movie, so I'm going to avoid it. How is it that I've avoided spoilers for TV shows that aired 20 years ago and yet these fucking mental midgets can't do it for something that hasn't even come out yet? Like, and I don't understand, like, dude, spoilers have been around since magazines, before the internet even existed, since freaking newspapers. Newspapers were spoiling things in the 30s. In the 30s, they were doing it for like Broadway shows. Do people like, are they that stupid? Are they that stupid? But I'm going to show you the king of the retards. And I hate to use that word. I'm sorry if that offends you, but I'm going to use that word. Sorry. I mean, I'm not. This guy, Neptune Aurelius. Like this, this guy is the definition of everything I hate about the internet and Twitter. People, you've heard me rant on speak things before about this. This is the definition of what I hate about the internet. This soft cock, weird, you know, like socially awkward, strange, like I don't understand common sense shit. He writes, my question is, why would you want to know the complete plot and spoilers? My question is, why would you want to post full plot spoilers? And I wrote, because people want to know. Spoilers in media have existed since the magazines and newspapers existed. Not everybody thinks like you do in this world. 
And then here he comes back with, never said everyone thought the same, don't be weird. How am I being weird? You're literally asking, why would somebody want spoilers? It's common fucking sense that certain people want spoilers. It's common fucking sense that the internet is filled with spoilers. It's common mother fucking sense. Am I stupid? Am I being a dick? See, one thing I hate about the internet is you act like a dumbass and I call you a fucking moron and suddenly I'm the bad guy. Even though you're the moron, I'm 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 bad because I called you a fucking moron because I expected to use your goddamn brain between your ears, right? So I replied back and I said, "You realize it's a dumb question, right? That's like asking why would anybody like egg sandwiches just because you don't? Why does somebody why would somebody want spoilers? Gee, I wonder because people don't care about spoilers, dog." Some people don't give a fuck about spoilers. You understand that? Some don't give a fuck. I wound up blocking him because he pulled he he pulled the card that I hate. I used to be a huge fan of yours, but throughout the years you'd be taking the most basic question so personal and been acting on a high horse this last year or so. That is fucking nonsense. I have gone to therapy for the past year and become a better person. I have never interacted with Neptune Aurelius in my entire life. He doesn't know me. He doesn't know shit about me. He's not my friend. He's some fucking virgin on fucking Twitter. Some anime fucking virgin who jacks off 10 times a day to hentai. He doesn't fucking know me. People on this channel who have listened to my speakdoms, they know me better than this fucking moron does. And then he goes on to say, maybe it's Twitter that did it to you. Or maybe you started taking this more serious as a job than fun. I took it as a job five years ago when I chose to take it as a job. And it's like, I literally said it was a dumb question. And it is a dumb question. It is a dumb question to ask why people like spoilers. That is a dumb question. If you haven't figured this out by now, bro, God help you. So I tell him, I said, no, I'm just going to block you because I think you're an idiot, which I do. I think he's a fucking moron. And you have called me weird twice. Unsubscribe from my channel and go bother somebody else on here and go assume bullshit about somebody else. I don't care about your existence. And boy, did I mean that. I do not care about this guy's existence. But I'm not done. He wrote something else. I used to... Okay, I already read that. And then Ghostly Grimace says, uh, it literally is his job, which it is. No, it's it's not. You need to just take a deep breath sometimes. Like, I like how he assumes, like, I'm all flustered. I'm flustered now because he pissed me off, but I wasn't when I, when this was written. Stop being weird. And that question was asked. It, I still wouldn't be stupid because there was no bashing, but just wanting to seek information. So in his mind, again, this is why I think he's a fucking idiot. I didn't bash you, so it's not a stupid question. A stupid question does not mean you bashed me. A stupid question is you asked me something stupid that is common sense shit, you fucking moron. You stupid ass, dumb, inbred motherfucker. And you don't have to bash me for it to be a dumb question. So I wrote, you don't have to bash to ask stupid question. Anyways, I'm going to block you now because you're annoying me and you're a judgmental person. I don't like people like that. I don't like judgmental people. I don't like people that get on the internet and say, oh, well, geekdom must be this or geekdom must be that. You don't know me, bro. You don't know shit about me. This is a parasocial relationship. I let you know what I want you to know about me. And I'm very honest about who I am on this channel and the kind of person I am and how I've improved and how I've, I've gone to therapy and improved as a person. People who care about me, my friends, my family, and my therapist all tell me I've improved. So I should ignore them and listen to Neptune Aurelius, somebody who I don't know or care about or would ever care about. Well, I used to be a fan of yours, bro, throughout the years. 
I don't give a fuck, bro. I hate when people say I used to be a fan of yours to play the sympathy card. Oh, you were a fan, so I got it. So I means I have to take your bullshit. No, it doesn't mean that, bro. I don't care how much you support me. If you're gonna disrespect me, bro, like I'm not gonna take it. And then here's where things get real good. I, on his profile picture. Okay. Oh, did he get rid of his? Did he get rid of his tweet? Hold on a minute. Geekdom 101 is a baby and cries when people ask him questions that don't align with him. Dog, it's my job to answer questions, you dumb motherfucker. You stupid, inbred, moronic parents are probably brother and sister motherfucker. That's what I do is I answer questions on fucking... I do Q&As. You dumb, bearded failure of a human being, dumbass motherfucker. He's a weirdo now and definitely let the internet change him. I hate this shit. He's a weirdo now. How am I a weirdo when you're creeping up on my fucking shit asking me dumb questions and then let the internet change him? Dog, you don't know me. We've been never interacted. How do you know the internet changed me if you don't if I, if you don't know me? I hate I hate people like this. I'm I'm not sugarcoating it. I hate. I'm using the word hate. For people like this, especially on Twitter. Despise people like this. Despise them. And he didn't delete his account. I know what happened. He blocked me. That's what happened. He blocked me. Because he saw that I that I saw this. Because he's a pussy also on top of being a, you know, with his 21 followers. It's like... There's something wrong with this fucking guy, bro. There's wrong with people on the internet, dog. Not everybody, but on people on Twitter, that is. For for you to, uh, to just just listen to this. He definitely let the internet change him. Like, dude, we've never had a conversation before in our life. How do you know anything changed me if you don't even know who I used to be or who I am now? For anybody out there, if you behave like this, bro, grow the fuck up, dude. Stop thinking that. And this is where the whole thing says this guy literally thinks that his fucking shit doesn't stink. Well, I don't like spoilers, so nobody else should. Like, get your head out of your own fucking smelly, disgusting, fat asshole. Get your head out of that shit, bro. And understand that people out there are fucking complex. And that people are different. And that people aren't just what you think they are. Especially people who you don't know. You don't know shit about me, bro. You know nothing about me. And clearly, based on what you're saying, you don't know anything about me. It's just one example. I'm making this video to rant because I want to make this video to entertain all of you and because it's my job. But it's just an example of why I absolutely fucking despise Twitter and why the whole platform brings out the worst in people and why I should burn in hell.